when we release perfectionism and we embrace an opportunity for heart storming and having that coherence with another group of people, vulnerability has to come in as a superpower to move into that and to really create those bonds in a relationship to help us experience what could be limitless potential for us. How have you started to embrace your own vulnerability? Because that's, as a guide, that is a path that you've walked where you were very walled off in some ways when, at least when I met you, and that was what you were seeking to tear walls down from is, all right, I I know I have walls, but I don't know how to start knocking those bricks down. So can you talk about vulnerability and why you were seeking that and maybe some of what you did? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, first and foremost, I think for me, the there is a direct correlation between the illusion of perfection and the unwillingness to be vulnerable. Okay, how? Yeah. So the less I was willing to be vulnerable, the more that I, I, I created this idea of perfection for myself, of like what I wanted to attain. Uh, and because it was, I was so stuck in that, I wasn't allowing to be myself, to be myself, to be who I am. So the moment I started releasing and letting go of the idea of, of perfection and looking more into process rather than perfection, which is kind of what we were talking about on a previous podcast, um, and allowing vulnerability to really be the super skill, as you're saying, instead of this perfection being a super skill. Um, the walls dropped, the illusion dropped, and the authenticity came forward. Because the, the illusion was only there to protect my lack of vulnerability in my ego. That's interesting. And if somebody hasn't watched the previous podcast where you're, we're talking about perfection and process, do you mean process like what you would find in a business where there's a process flow? And so you're just following the process of your life, or do you mean something different? Yeah, good, good clarification. Uh, for me, I mean actual, like, uh, so the process of living, <laughs> just just process in general. Uh, perfection inherently means a result. And so if we're so focused on the result, then we're going to constantly be let down. <laughs> And expect, and that creates expectation, and then that creates um, the concept, like uh, the idea of, of failure overtaking. At least for me, That's, I can only speak from my experience. I have had observations, and I see many others struggle with this, whether they feel that or not. It's a different thing, um, but it is insidious how much perfectionism or the idea of what I felt I should be instead of the allowance and acceptance of who I am through vulnerability. One is a facade of a wall and the other is a wall made of concrete and the, or the strongest uh, material you can never break down. Yeah. And the, the wall of vulnerability that you create is almost is a transparent and open wall. It's almost like a force field. This may be a better way to put it because we're <laughs> nerds and sci-fi and all that. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's like a like a force field in some way, where the other is a, is this facade of of a wall. And so, I guess long story short, I, I, as I wrap, pull back in and, and and weave this together, <laughs> do the weave, you do the weave, right? <laughs> um, is if you're so focused on the result, you lose the process. 
But if you're focused on the process, the results come naturally. Yeah. And they could even be far greater results than you can imagine. 